Hello, this is Burrito. I like to talk about the new manga project we started earlier this year in February. And the reason I like to talk about it is because um, there haven't been as many people applying to help out as one would need to finish this, to uh, get this project going. I personally won't have as much time as I thought to work on it, but uh, it will happen if uh, more people apply, so to speak. Uh, this uh, video is about making people consider applying and uh, joining under one banner. And if you don't want the story spoiled to you, I consider that you might uh, avoid this video. However, if you want to know more about the story itself and the ideas, then we want the best possible story. So, so don't take this as the final product. So what we will have here is a story about the world the Blade Breakers left behind. We follow the children, so the, the point of the first half of the story, which is four arcs long, is to follow them as they grow into bladers. For example, we will have to see them unite as a team in the first arc. The face of a guest some opponent and each other. In the second arc, we, we will follow them through the Asian tournament. Currently, we consider maybe having a rival clan of the White Tigers. Because the White Tigers were very, very essential in explaining the backstory of Bake you know? The story that Ray told about in episode 12. We want to introduce a sage also. An old man, the trained hero. You know, Titan's older brother. If this uh, sage was um, training another pupil before, that turned evil, maybe the match against Brooklyn was a way to prepare Tyson to face up against the final threat. The reason we want this is because we want to redeem Tyson's older brother and his actions for joining the Vega League. Hero probably knows more about David than anyone else in the world currently. So what we have after that is the finals of the World Championships. This might be mixed to get into one big arc, or it might be two separate arcs. We have two opponents that will be. One I want to be similar to, for example, Miha from uh, One Piece, or Laxus from Fairy Tail, in the sense that it's a blader that's way stronger than it's supposed to be that is introduced very early on. He's from the Academy of the Neobors, you know, Tala, Ryan and Spencer, and that's why he has a lot of respect for, example, the old generation, the old veterans, the, the strongest generation. He's very old-fashioned, as opposed to modern. It might be an arc about going to visit the Abbey again. The Abbey is currently opened up as a training academy for Beybladers, like Boris had, but with good intentions this time. Now the world champion, I would consider maybe someone that was really very modern. As a two-time world champion, he has to live in the shadow of Tyson. Still has to live in the shadow of the old generation. Now, after that, if you consider it cut in two, the one half pays a tribute to all the orcs that are about world championship. Then we have four orcs about the main enemy. We had an introduction in the original se series, season 1, where we saw that Boris eventually might have a standoff against Voltaire. If he has a standoff against Voltaire, that means he must have a certain power. Maybe he had a secret student, a super student, stronger than Tala, stronger than Kai, this super blader didn't stay under Boris' control. This Superblader, just like Kai, escaped the Abbey and is currently in the age range of the original cast. Thus he's a potential rival for Tyson or Kai or both. This Superblader, the Master, will carry on Boris' legacy. Boris is currently dead and unlike Boris and Voltaire, 
this guy actually know his main threat. He knows that Tyson, Kai, Ray, and Max are his main threat. That's why he doesn't hunt bladers that are associated with these guys, or too well known. He hunts the bladers that are in the shadows. The main cast we have to face off against the soldiers, the top soldiers. Then a team of assassins, but the main threat is the elite, the elite bladers. I want to call them the elemental five. Also, we will have three guardians, a right hand man of the master and the master himself. That makes five people in the final, uh, final line of uh, war. The, the big beast I want for the master should be called Typhon, the father of all monsters from the Greek mythology. For example, it's the father of uh, Cerberus. Cerberus was uh, shown in uh, season 2. And another thing, in, in Greek mythology, Zeus fought against Typhon. That's why it's a match made in heaven, but Typhon against Zeus, the big beast in this case. But this time, Zeus cannot win, of course. Now, we have a war arc that's like Tyson, Max, Kai and all their friends gather to fight against the elite and the three guardians, the, uh, the right hand man and the master. The master being declared eventually as the most dangerous man in the world. People want to see things improve and get stronger. They like power in the enemy community, that you can't deny. So we want, we want to raise the bar, and that takes a lot of effort. I don't know if you like this, if you don't like this, you can still join, because uh, if you have better ideas than the ones presented, we, we will absorb them into the story. Like, the goal is to make the best story possible, the goal is to continue the story of the original cast, and to make the perfect ending for it. Everybody has a project of their own nowadays, um, so maybe you could, could consider taking your ideas from that project and uh, try to join our project and try to uh, combine your ideas with our ideas and we make the best possible result. For example, if we were all united in making this, it would happen. If we were not, if only a few would join this project, it would work, but if nobody joins, it won't happen, so we'll wait and see what happens. Maybe this is a great video, maybe it sucks. And I hope you like this video. Sorry if I didn't plan it very much. Um, but it's only to give out a bit of information. I hope you liked it and farewell and subscribe and thank you all for the support thus far. And hopefully we'll see more support in the future. Thank you.